Where is the fair use, YouTube? Hey there, everybody. Doom 3! Remember that game? You know, with the, uh, the new Doom coming soon, and with the uh, multiplayer currently in beta, and lots of contention over that. I'm not going to go into it, only that... Um, you know, id Software should have known that the PC gamers weren't going to go for the COD-esque features. Doom has always been a PC game, and putting... making it consoleized was never going to be popular with PC gamers. I can understand why, being a PC gamer myself. I can understand why they don't want it in there. I... I haven't played the multiplayer beta myself. May eventually get the game at some point. But Doom 3. Doom 3 came out several years ago. It was rather revolutionary for its time. The um, ID Tech engine at that time used heavy use, extensive use of bump mapping. If you turned bump mapping off, which was a feature you could do then, if you turned it off, the world looked flat. I mean, it, it looked awful. Creatures looked horrible. Everything was bump mapping in that engine. And, you know, it was rather good. I mean, it, it definitely competed with the Unreal Engine at that time. Definitely competed with it. And, but the game engine itself, while the graphics looked good, the game engine itself didn't age well. And it wouldn't run very well on modern machines. And its capabil graphics capabilities are were rather limited. In that it couldn't handle higher resolutions. Than what was available at the time the game was released. So. Somebody developed a, a mod for Doom 3. So you can actually play it on a modern machine with modern settings and a few graphical improvements. You know, better, some better lighting, uh, better texture processing, everything. The game actually looks better. Now, when I played Doom 3 originally, I had a, I had a gaming PC that could only run it at about a little less than 30 frames a second. And, you know, it was a, um, it was a single core AMD processor, an AMD, it was an Athlon, um, an Athlon XP, and I had a, um, GeForce, um, FX 6600, and that's all, that's what I played it on, I played it about an average of 30 frames per second, maybe a little less, depending on what was going on at the time, and Doom 3 had some pretty heavy, um, system requirements then. We've gotten way, way beyond that now. And since the since the engine is open source now, since Doom 3's um, engine is open source, mod developers have gone to town and done some amazing things with it. Doom 3 Redux makes it playable on modern machines with you know, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 at um, higher resolutions. I have it set to my um, native resolution, which is 1366 by 768 for my Samsung display here. I use a Samsung Smart TV as my monitor, and that does extremely well for games. I mean, it has it's a 60 frame per second display. Uh, it has a feature for 120 uh, 120 hertz for you know process the video from the live feed from my uh, direct TV box that's down underneath here but right, let's get into the game let me show you what it looks like now um, I am not the best <laughs> And as you can see right off the bat, this looks a little bit different. I mean, this has some improvements 
already. If you've ever played the vanilla game, you can tell, you know, this is not the same as it was when you first installed it. Very different look. Your various options. You can bind any controls. Something that a lot of games nowadays don't offer much of anymore. Video settings, there's my resolution. You can change the aspect ratio, which it's 16.9 set for my display. I had to turn up brightness a little bit because it was a bit dark. 90% uh, field of view, which is really nice. I've got a 2 gig card. It's an R9 270. I should go up to a 4 gig card at some point. I can run this at the highest quality. Uh, I don't have FXAA turned on currently. Uh, I don't use motion blur. Screen blood, I have all that. Audio. Uh, EAX. Uh, I may be able to turn that on, but I'm not using it right now. Gameplay. Some stuff like this turned on. But let's get into the game. And I am not the best at this. So you've caught me at a point where I am where I'm uh, a little rusty. Who am I kidding? I'm a lot rusty. You're probably going to see me die a lot. And let's Get a little more lighting in here. There we go. You know, and you know, the original Doom Three when it when it launched, you know, it it faced some of its own controversy. I mean. Yeah, it, it, the Doom 3 was, faced its own controversy when it was out. Mainly people complained that it wasn't quite as Doom as, oh, Doom as they think Doom should have been. Not as quite as Doom as Doom should have It didn't meet up to their expectations on a lot of people. They felt that it really wasn't... That it really wasn't, you know, what they were hoping it would be. What didn't play like classic Doom. And that was a lot of people's argument and oh I'm about to meet these fuckers yeah even in this game they're a pain which I've got a weapon for that somewhere okay I'm going to encounter another one yeah. Hello. Oh, die. Yeah. The one other thing that people really didn't like was the fact that you couldn't have your flashlight out at the same time as your weapon. That really riled some people up. Okay. Now, where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Hello. You. 
You know, I'm actually doing a lot better than I did for my first playthrough on this. Although, uh, 90. I've got more shotgun shells. The shotgun in this, it's got a very narrow. It's got an extremely narrow. It's got an extremely narrow cone in the front. And so that limits the width of the blast, as you can see. Close up, it's lethal. Uh oh, more. Gotcha. Some bitch. Alright. Need a health. Oh, can't get back. <sighs> that was the other. Ah, that was the other problem I ran into. I kept getting taking damage. So, several things with this. One, it didn't play like the classic Doom. It wasn't fast. Uh, there were things about it that weren't like classic Doom. People said it was more like a survival horror than it was Doom. And that was the majority of the criticism. I hate these things. There. Where are you? I hear you. That was the majority of the criticism Ooh, there for this game. And there's, yeah, a revenant. Yep. Die. so out of practice in these games. They're very stingy with health in this particular level. And you get so much shit thrown at you. I mean, I can find armor. I mean, I can find armor shards everywhere. But I can't find help. I thought I killed you already. Die. Oh, this is, believe it or not, this is easy mode. Yeah, easy. Because I tried hard and I got absolutely slaughtered. I did not survive. Asshole. Oh. Can I 
hit these fuckers because they get in low and and then you get those tiny ammo packs that hardly give you anything. And tiny um, health packs that hardly give you anything. And even with the brightness turned up, it's still pretty dark in here. And, oh, damn, revenant. You assholes! They're the reason why my health is almost always low in here. I mean, they're not impossible to fight, but... They are a pain in the arse. always have trouble. Alright, I heard you. Come on. Okay. No. Health. Health? Is there any help? Uh, hello, health. Um, shit. Okay. There's a, there's one health pack here. And I grabbed that already. Okay. And I'm already out of ammo. And this one's getting low. I saved that one for bosses. Okay, which leaves this one with my most ammunition. And there's... It's a powerful gun. The shotgun's a powerful gun, but it's got an extremely, extremely limited um, cone. Now, here's another thing about Doom 3 I wanted to show you. The story is told, some of the story is told through PDAs that you pick up throughout the, uh, throughout the base on Mars. You know, just like the classic Doom game, it, it's set on Mars, demons get loose because of an experiment that takes place, experiment with teleportation. They elaborate more on that here, and, and, you know, some of these PDAs will have, you know, voice logs, that you can listen to emails because there's a code you have to find for storage lockers that have armor and ammo and health pickups all throughout the game. There's one where there is this company that that uh, spam emails everybody in the in the um, on the Mars City base and it's called Martian Buddy and it actually set up a website for it. The website's down now. You can find it on the Internet Archive still. But the website actually had the code for that locker. You can find it in any Doom 3 wiki site now. And most, um, most sites that have cheat codes for games. They'll have the full list of all the, all the lockers and all the codes that you need in order to get in. You know, and so I picked up a PDA here, and it has a thing about locked armaments. Um, uh, yeah, you'll 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 read these emails, and you read the story, and you'll say that this isn't something that just happened out of the blue. This is something that's been building up over time. So this is before you show up on Mars. Before everything goes all to hell. This is weeks, days and weeks before everything goes all to hell. And you're reading that stuff's going on. That people are seeing things. They're hearing things. There are employees going missing. Employees going insane. And everybody is, don't know what the hell is going on. And so they're starting to stockpile weapons and lockers for their own protection. They're increasing patrols in, in areas. And so this one, uh, 
there's a locker with a code of 483 which means I'll probably run into that pretty soon and if I switch to user data there's a an audio log and you can listen in on what um, the report is and you get even more story of what what has been going on in this Mars base and it's relevant for where you find it for different sections what research was being done in those areas the area I'm in now is for recycling for the Mars base and the audio will play still despite this so this is where I was this is where that revenant was standing before so I got this ladder to come down now I'm gonna come through here kill him oh, don't kill these two It makes short work of them, but you have to get in close. All right, and all right. This is dangerous here because I've got to walk on these pipes. All right, I made it. All right, what's here? There's some ammo pickups. All right. Now there's. Toxic sludge down that area I was in before. I'm going to turn on the pumps to clean it out. That way I can go back, get back into that area I was in before. So drop down here and drop down here. Kill him. Yeah, there's more of these assholes in here. Come in here, and now you see that toxic sludge is gone. So now I can come through here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Well, hold on. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold, keep your pants on. Okay. Okay. Now check around because they love hiding shit in dark places all right I'm actually doing I'm actually doing a lot better than this time around than I did the last time I actually didn't make it quite this far before reload because I know I'm going to run into some shit up here Oh shit. I hate those fuckers. Yeah, I'm gonna be running into damn fucking spider creatures. Oh, another one of these fuckers. Ouch. Mm. Some ar armor shards. Some more of this. Armor, health. I am doing really well compared to what I did before. And here we go. And I know there's fuckers behind me. And all right, load. I've actually got more health than I had the last time I did this. And I can't see the fuckers. And I'm doing this and I'm I am visually impaired at the same time. I mean, if you've seen my Final Fantasy uh, 14 playthroughs, you see that and my HUD's really huge. That's because I can't see it any other way. Ouch. Mm. Stop that asshole. All. all right. That's it. Damn. Hate fucking spiders. This place is dark. You know, 
I actually made it. Okay. You know, I actually made it through that. Before I didn't make it, I didn't survive it. <sighs> so, that is... That was Doom 3. It's currently on Steam. You can get it uh, relatively inexpensively. Uh, you can get it with the Resurrection of Evil expansion. And then I will include in the description below a link to the uh, Doom 3 Redux, which modernizes this, which makes which makes it run a lot better on modern machines and then does some interesting stuff with the lighting and shaders and also replaces some of the sound effects so they're better. Some of, some of the gun sound effects weren't really that great in the original version and that was another criticism. And so, you know, it, it's still a good game despite its age. It still holds up well. It's not like classic Doom was, not like the classic DOS Doom, but on its own, it's pretty good. Now, understand that Doom re the Doom 3 Redux doesn't work with the expansion. It's only for this game, and there are a few extra steps you have to go through if you're an AMD user. I mean, there are instructions for that on the page for the ex for the mod itself so thanks for coming along with me on this journey for uh checking out uh doom 3 again you can pick it up on steam and do not get the bfg edition the mod doesn't work with the bfg edition so that was Doom 3 with the Doom 3 Redux mod, and I will see you next time.